Remember that viral ice bucket challenge? That was nearly 10 years ago, believe it or not, all to benefit ALS. Well, now all those years later, the FDA has fast-tracked approval for a third treatment for ALS patients. Courtney Friedman tells us about the newest treatment, which is specifically for people whose ALS has been passed down genetically. In 2018, Sarah Wheeler was a full-time nurse who loved traveling and being active, but that's when strange symptoms started. I was having leg cramps and feet pain, and I was reaching up to put, you know, our new stuff up in the higher cabinets, and I realized I could not stand on my tiptoes. It took her three years to officially be diagnosed with ALS, a terminal disease with no cure. We finally got a really good genetic panel where both of my parents, um, participated and that's where we found it was genetic. It was the SOD1 mutation. For about 10% of ALS patients, the disease is genetic. Of that group, one to 2% have the SOD1 gene known to cause ALS. So really taking away people's ability to breathe on their own, walk on their own, speak, swallow. Jill Dalliger Bruner is the ALS Association Southwest Territory Executive and says a new treatment just approved by the FDA is game changing. It's a spinal injection called Tofersen that kills the gene which would progress the disease. Wheeler was FDA approved to get on Tofersen a year ago and it's working. I would wake up and I, I looked at my calf and I, you know, I see an indention where my calf muscle used to be. I don't have that anymore. She wears leg braces and uses a cane, walker, or scooter at times, but sees a definite slowing of her progression. There's also stories of people where they actually are starting to get their strength back. They're doing, you know, physical therapy. A beacon of hope, not just for patients with the SOD1 gene. The genetic medication and the genetic studies, it's a good foundation to see where we could um, grow and, and uh, you know, improve on medication. To eventually find a cure for ALS before people can ever be diagnosed with it or um, to, to diagnose people early. Increasing the current life expectancy, which is typically three to five years. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. Now, if you are diagnosed with ALS, uh, ask for this genetic test to see if you have the gene and are eligible for that treatment. Now, those folks that you saw in that story say don't bother with Google. Instead, they say contact the ALS Association for all your information and support. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.